Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by for a weekly tarot forecast for January 5th through the 11th. I am using my Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so what we have today for Monday coming up is the moon. The moon card is a card that talks about um, there's a certain situation in your life that you have some information about. The kicker here, though, is you have just enough information to know that there is more to the story <laughs> than is available to you right now. So that's what I see coming in on Monday is this realization that hmm, not all the pieces are fitting together. There's got to be something else going on here that I'm not quite seeing yet. So that's what I see coming in for you on Monday, which, you know, Scorpios, we are detectives of the universe doesn't take long for us to key in on that stuff and start digging around and trying to figure out how those piece, puzzle pieces go together. If there's anything that we can't resist, it's a good puzzle. <laughs> so now we're busy. <laughs> so Tuesday, Scorpio, what we have coming up is we have the Queen of Coins. So Tuesday, I'm feeling like for most of us Scorpios, there's going to be a significant interaction with a female personality coming into our lives on Tuesday. This female personality is somebody who is um, well established materially and financially, and this person, you know, this person is comfortable. They don't have to worry about financial type things. Excuse me. <coughs> but also, this person is very welcoming, and she likes to make people feel welcome around her. She is the person that, you know, in the olden days, she would always have cookies whenever people came by to give people cookies or cake or whatever. So she is somebody who always has um, just the right words to say or the right gestures to give or or even the right tangible gifts to give to make somebody feel welcome in her presence. And so that's what I'm feeling on Tuesday. I'm feeling like we're running into a person like this. We're having a significant interaction with with them and um, this person for most of us is actually going to be not so much someone with a tangible item for us as much as a person whose shoulder we can really lean on and maybe cry on maybe vent a little bit on Tuesday okay Wednesday we have the Knight of Clubs showing up now the Knight of Clubs is somebody who is a little bit younger at heart not necessarily young in age, but younger at heart, sometimes young in age as well. Um, and so they make a little bit, sometimes they make rash decisions, but when we see him on Wednesday, he seems to be making some pretty good decisions, and he's got some kind of creative thing going on. And I feel like for most of us Scorpios, he's asking for our assistance in this creative thing. And I'm feeling like he is... Um, for this moment, for this project, he is pointed in a good direction and it would be um, something that would be good for us to be involved in should we decide that we want to. Um, sometimes whenever knights come in in reverse, I say stay away from this person as far away as you can, stay out of their wake, avoid them. <laughs> this is not the case on Wednesday. This creative person that comes into your life doing this project on Wednesday, and this is a male person, um, is going to be somebody that it will be just fine to interact with and maybe even actually fun and beneficial. <laughs> Okay, so Thursday, Scorpio, what we have coming up is the Ten of Cups in Reverse. And I'm getting a different meaning off of this than usual. Usually this is kind of an ugly card. But what I'm really seeing on this is, for us on Thursday, this is a shared experience. So a Ten of Cups, when a Ten of Cups comes in right side up, a Ten of Cups is talking about being in a good place as far as relationship. Maybe taking a relationship to the next level and being happy about that. And so this looks to me like on Thursday, um, we have a relationship that is going to the next level. And it's something that um, you and the other person are going to kind of come to that same conclusion together at the same time. So there's none of this awkward, well, I want to take this to the next level, but my other person doesn't. So now we're kind of waiting and we have this, this is, makes things kind of unequal now and it's awkward. We don't have that. We don't have that awkwardness on Thursday. On Thursday we have that kind of cohesive, we've decided to take it to the next level together type of thing. So I see that as being a very positive, positive thing. Now, you need to know that for most of us, this is romantic relationships. However, this does not have to be about romantic relationships. And for those of us who it's not about romantic relationships, I do feel like it does apply to relationship in your life in some way. So, 
We could be talking about a family relationship that the bond is getting stronger, or a friendship where the bond is getting stronger on Thursday, or even a working relationship, a working partnership, or a colleague where the relationship is getting stronger on Thursday. No matter how you slice it, you have a relationship that is getting mutually stronger on Thursday. Okay? Now, Friday, Scorpio. We had the Knight of Clubs on, what was that, Wednesday. Now we've got the King of Clubs, but the King of Clubs is upside down. Uh-oh. This just means Friday we have somebody showing up in our life, male personality, who is normally very creative, thinks very much outside of the box, really great at problem solving. But when we see him come in upside down, what that tells me is that when this person comes into our life, even though he's normally good at problem solving on Friday, he's got a problem that he's not really sure how to handle. He's having a hard time coming up with a solution there. And for most of us, I feel like this person, this King of Clubs personality who's reversed, having trouble with the problem, he is going to be confiding in us. And for some of us, he's going to actually be asking advice from us about this problem because he is so stumped that he feels like he needs some outside input, okay? And also, by the way, um, in most of these situations, this gentleman has a lot of respect for us Scorpios, the Scorpio that he knows that's in his life, whoever you are that he's coming to for advice, he has a lot of respect for you. And that's really his motivation to come to you for advice as opposed to somebody else. And I am feeling also about this situation that when this person comes to you for advice, Scorpios, <laughs> comes to us for advice, um, we're going to be kind of feeling like, why would you ask me? I am not the expert. <laughs> well, it's because of the amount of respect that this person has for you, that this gentleman has for you, and his um, opinion about your ability to really logic things through and come up with good answers. And even, in some cases, this person has trust for your intuition. He's seen your intuition at work before. And so it's about, he's he thinks you have a good head on your shoulders and he knows you also can rely on intuition and that helps you. Okay? So that talks about Friday. Saturday. This is family issues for most of us Scorpios. Saturday we have a five of clubs in reverse. Bleh. Bleh. Humbug. Okay. Five of clubs in reverse really talks about uh, a competitive situation. So this could be an argument or a disagreement. This could actually be some kind of competition, some kind of race, what have you. Um, I feel like for most of us, this is coming in as a family situation. For a few of us, not so much, but um, maybe like 10% not family. So most of us, this is a family situation. And this is a family situation that's competitive. And it is um, something where everybody really should be working towards the same target and technically they are however everybody sort of has a different agenda about how to get this accomplished and so that's keeping this project that you guys are working on as a family that we're working on as a family from moving forward because it's being split off in so many different directions so even though this is family best advice that can be had here when this card comes in reverse this is telling me that this situation is so crazy that the best thing we can do is walk away from it. If we find ourselves embroiled in it, back out of it. <laughs> we do not want to be embroiled or enmeshed in this conflict because it is just totally draining and not productive at all. So when you recognize this coming in on Saturday, Back slowly towards the exit door without anybody noticing if you can. I <laughs> uh, don't know if all of you will be able to get away with that, but that's my advice. Okay, so Sunday. Eight of coins in reverse. No work happening on Sunday. <laughs> now, what you need to know about me and work is work can be how you make your living, but it can also be about those things that we do to improve our character. And I've got about a 50-50 here. So 50% of you, this is actually talking about work, like how you make your living, and 50%, this is talking about what we do for character. Okay? So when this card comes in reverse, this is just telling me that work is not fun. You're not enjoying work whichever way it is, whether it's where you're making money or what you're doing to yourself. This is just work is not fun. So if you're going to work on Sunday, bleh, 
you wish you would just stay home and stay in bed. Um, if you're somebody who is not going to work, but you're somebody who is actually working on your character and working on your integrity, you're finding out, you're just having this realization today that I really want to do this. I've decided I'm going to do this. I've made the choice to do this, but wow, I did not know it was going to be this hard. Wow. And so it's kind of overwhelming and it's kind of a point of going, it's a point of recommitting to doing the work that it takes to get accomplished, whatever it is that you want to get accomplished. Okay? So that is your week, Scorpio. For any of you who would like to schedule a private reading with me, please go ahead and make sure I am the best reader for you. You can do that by checking out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you have found out more about me and you decide that I am still the best reader for you, then go ahead and contact me and I will be happy to schedule a session with you as soon as possible. For the rest of you, I will see you next week. Everyone have a fabulous week. Peace out.